That's simple. Yeah. When you investigate any religion, yeah. the first thing I wasn't investigating Islam. I was no, no, I'm doing with Sikhism. Oh, Sikhism. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Whether Sikhism, Christianity, or Islam doesn't matter. Yeah. All of them, they actually believe in God. Yeah. You agree? Yeah. So, for you as an atheist, when you are reading any scripture, yeah. I was hoping that you would say I wanted to understand what the concept of God was in that religion. Not about morals, because you don't need to I be. I say morals. No, no. But, but you asked no, me what. No, no. You what mentioned it's, morals. No, because you said be what did good, you understand? Be good to other people what and so on. What did you understand? I said, well, it probably just taught me a, don't steal, don't rob. Yeah, that's morals. That's morals. Exactly. Yeah, that's what so, I understood. You know, mo for, in order to be a moral person, yeah. you don't even need to practice religion. Exactly. Okay? I agree. And and so we don't have any no disagreement problem. there. No problem. But what I'm saying is that if I were to study physics yeah. or study chemistry or study yeah. biology yeah. or any sciences, yeah. yes. And then, st if I go and say that, okay, I don't need to know about atoms and molecules when I study chemistry, yeah. yeah? That is me like ignoring the basics of chemistry. You see what I mean? Similarly, when you investigate a religion, the first thing on your mind would be like, okay, what is the concept of God? Because morality is taught by all of them. They overlap many times. Okay? okay? I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand I'm trying to say that when you investigate a religion, the first thing on your mind yeah. should be about the concept of God. Okay. Oh, but, but that's not the point. Okay, so the go point on. Is this. What is your simple question? My simple question is this. So, as an, in, as an intellectual person, or a sensible person, okay. somebody who can hold a, can hold a conversation, yeah. why, would, why would someone like you have 100% faith in Islam when I know, and you know, that if you if, 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 you, if, if you know the basics that as much as I know, the little bit, the little fractures I've read, the Hadiths, yeah? Or if I listen to people like Adam Seeker, or if you listen to Sam Shamoon, Christopher Hitchens, mm. all these people, why do you feel, why do, and why do you need, feel the need to come here every week, yeah, and defend it? There must be some issues that you are aware of. I don't see any issues in Islam. I think Islam is the answer for all of humanity. Right. If you and want it's perfect. Everything that was written. Can I answer the way I want? Sorry. Without you. All right. You know? Because when I, I did look into the other religions, by the way. Okay. Yeah. You I don't know if you've seen the Dawa Wise streams. We actually have a direct uh, conversation with all these different religious people. And being white, it doesn't matter if it's if Adam Seeker wants to come on Dawa Wise. Would you speak to him? Of course, if he comes on our stream, we would never say no to him. Okay. We would welcome him. So you've heard of him? Of course I've I've told you that already. I'm sorry, I didn't remember not. Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. So people like that, you know, they are here, here today, gone tomorrow, regardless. Okay. For us to have a discussion on an intellectual level, yes, and look at things objectively, is more important than about the status of someone. So whether it's Sam Shimon or Adam Seek or whatever names you mentioned, if they come on our stream and they want to have a, a conversation, with civility, we will give them, we will reciprocate in kind. Okay. All right, that's interesting. I've never, in fact, you can go and ask any of the Dawais, uh, the people who watch our channel. Okay. We have never stopped anyone come to our stream and speak their mind okay. unless they misbehaved. Okay, that's okay? interesting. That's interesting. Yes. Okay. And, and I don't know why you would have, uh, why you would think otherwise. Because if you actually watch any of our live streams, you know, we have been having. I've been streams. watching that, but you, the list. Okay. We have been Let's having the ones. Let's no, no, wait a minute, you're, you're already jumping to Kardianis. We have been having streams about Hinduism. I haven't seen yeah, that for one. the last four or five weeks okay. now. All right. And we have had really good conversations with many Hindus. Okay. One thing which we realized from these conversations is that most of those people who advocate Hinduism don't know the basics of the religion. And I'm not saying all of them. No, sure. I'm saying many of them. All right, yes. All right. And similarly, if you go to uh, another religion, maybe Christianity, or even if you want to say Ahmadiyya, all of them, there are certain people who actually have read their religion about the books, their scriptures and so on, and they do know about it, but most of the other people are not. So what we, what we say is that, what objection would somebody have in the oneness of God? Because you're an atheist, I think you would be more concerned, because how would you feel if somebody like Sam Shamon says the only religion, true religion is Christianity? What would you say to him? I say the same thing to him as I would to you and everyone else. Which is what? That anyone that believes in God is an apple short of a picnic. Okay, why is that? Because if, if, if you tell a 12-year-old child that there is a God, yeah. I understand why that 12-year-old 12 12 -year child will believe you. Yeah. If you told someone of 
of, how should I put it, polite, um, less than average intelligence that they need to believe in God for X, Y, and Z. I would understand. But if you tell someone of just a normal human being that God exists and this is what's that, that you must do this, you must do that, you must, I mean, come on. You know, majority of the world actually yeah. believes in God. Well, for, I, for your information, the eight is actually in a minority. I agree with you. So I, why would I, that be? I'm just fascinated why, yeah. an, why an individual who has half a... Who you know why? I'll tell you why. More, uh, more than average yeah. intelligence. I'll tell you why. Believes that. Yeah, I'll tell you why. What's your name, by the way? Bobby. Bobby? Yeah. Hashim, as you know, my name. Okay, so Bobby, let me ask you this. Do you believe you exist? This, I'm not getting involved in this because they said, I've heard this from you guys. You know, he asked me a simple years. question. I can't ask him a yes, simple question. Yes, I exist. Come on, Bobby. I exist. Does the universe exist? Yes, the universe exists. Where did it come from? It was from the Big Bang. And where did that come from? It came from something, some, from nothing, which the scientists have yet to understand. But there was, there was some kind of huge explosion billions of years ago and something one one organism one whatever that organism one, whatever it was something in the water some Bobby you're all over out, the place it came up you know That's you know why I wait 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 you were just making fun of those below average people yeah now you look like you don't even know where the universe came from I agree, my friend. And I said to you, are you below average? Be, because are you, you below average in your intellect? I don't. I think because you you actually mocked those people who believed in God. Okay, wait. wait it looks wait, like you wait, don't even know your own existence. Wait, wait. I said to you before I started, I can't get because you're not versed in all this. You've been doing. And you're years. not, and you're judging everyone but as if you know everything. I, I want to know. That's why. arrogance. Well, it's not arrogance. It is. I'm I, sorry to say this, Bobby. Okay. Actually, you're below average when you don't even know where you where this existence came from. I would say the same thing to you then. So, how would you feel? So, Bobby, how would you feel if I told you that? Tell me what. That you are below average because you don't I even know be, where your, our insulted. existence comes I from. I wouldn't be insulted because all you're doing, you're trying to defend the existence of God. If you, if we were having, if me and you, you tried, were, you tried to prove your existence and you fail miserably. Agreed. Okay. Agreed. But then you're, I would say you're below average. But I, okay, we'll accept. That. Okay. No problem. So now that you wait, wait. First, you mentioned something about nothing. Let's see if you even know what that means. Um, Mr. Hashim. I haven't Mr. Come. Bobby, come on. Simple I, question. I haven't. I, you guys, and I've told you this before, you guys are well versed in this because it's the same argument. I've been watching. I told then you. Then you should know the answer. Two years. I've been watching. This then you should know the answer. But why do you. Because know? a repeated question, yeah. and if he has heard us but for two years, he should know the answer to that you question. If you want to defend, if you're going to argue with me that God, you have to answer these questions because that's how I prove. No, no. God I'm not saying you have to answer my way. I'm saying. Answer the way you want, Bobby. I'm telling you. But you, I believe. When I ask you a simple question, where did the universe come from? I don't know. You mentioned something about nothing. You mentioned about scientists, organisms. Scientists, you mentioned about scientists. Yeah, I believe what the scientists. The science, look, look. One thing you need to understand: science explains the mechanism, it doesn't explain the agency. I don't. I, Do you know the difference? I don't know. Okay. I'm not going to so, mecha so mechanism is like, for example, how a car works. Yeah. You might know if you're a mechanic, you yeah. would know everything yeah. how a car works. Yeah. Okay. But if you start asking him okay where did these particles come from yeah that make up the car yeah he wouldn't be able to tell you What's because do with God? i'll tell you what because for us to know that something exists something began to exist like the universe it must have a cause must have. must have yeah this is something which is proven okay. you look at your the universe from any angle okay. and you say that anything that begins to exist always has a cause so on that basis mr Hashim, you would say that a man who does not believe in God has got some serious mental issues. No, I wouldn't say that. Would say I would that? just say that they're ignorant about and they would they are stupid. And no no and they are blissful in their ignorance. Right. Okay, for them that is the case. So but for me with more for, for me it's not enough. I need to know the answer to this this uh, existential question. And you actually believe this what you're hold on, hold on, Bobby. Saying. Bobby, hold on. You didn't have an answer. At least we have an answer unlike you. What answer is the answer for us is that there must be a cause. You, that, that's your belief. No, it's, it's, it's something which is scientific observation in every single existence in this universe. Where there's a tree, where there's a molecule, okay. it doesn't okay. matter what okay. it is. So there must they, be a cause okay. for anything that began to exist. So, and well, we believe that the universe began to exist, so, hence it must have a cause. So, and the cause cannot be that existence itself. That means the cause cannot be the universe. It cannot be nothing like what you said earlier. Why, because, why because, have we gone? 
Well, you're getting me involved in a commentary. I, 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 I you're clueless I'm, about. I'm, clu I'm, I'm lost. You're clueless about. Yeah. yeah. But, I, I, but, I, but I Bobby, feel, I feel I feel as an intelligent man. No, no, Bobby. I, I, to, that wasn't if, my intention. Mind you, have to come up. The with reason the reason I brought that up okay. is because you actually made a judgment call what? on a lot of people yeah. who might not understand intellectually how to answer certain questions. So for you to to actually judge them based on your limited knowledge. Why did I say that I believe that anyone that believes in God is? You said there are many people who are below. Uh, sorry, you said to put it nicely. Yeah. People who believe God yeah. are like as a twelve-year-old. Yeah. So I you mentioned that. children. Yes. And, and then you mentioned below average yeah. in intellect. And, I, uh, and then you and then you question me that I why would I believe if I'm neither a child yeah. nor below average? Yes. Am I right? Yes. Yeah. So you already I, look look. Yes. For me, yeah. that 12-year-old child, Sorry? based on my understanding yeah. of our existence, yeah. that 12-year-old child yeah. is more intelligent than you. Yeah. Why? Because he, he acknowledges the existence oh. and he acknowledges as, as the creature of the existence. Nothing to do with influence on their mother or father, brainwashing the kid, taking to, to the temple, the church, trust, the mosque. Trust me, today or the 12-year-olds are quite clever. You'll be surprised how clever they are. You're but anyway, but you're a grown-up. You're not a twelve-year-old. Okay. So I'm, I'm speaking to you accordingly. Right. Yes. Now, so if you, a, I was a, a by, by the question. way, are you happy with this void in you that you don't know where we came from? I'm, I'm ecstatic at my life to know so that when is, I die, ignorance is uh, when I die, and they crush my bones and they take my ashes yeah. and they throw it in the river. Uh, in your case, buried. Yeah. Or if, if I by the way, why don't you're an atheist? You don't care whether you're burnt or buried. No, it's our tradition, though. It's a tradition. But why? Would you know? What, 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 would it make a difference to you if you were buried instead of being burned? Um, given the option, I uh -huh. would rather. I would. I like the idea of my ashes just scattered. Yeah, and that's based on your tradition, right? Yeah, and rather than my bones but, being. So you're impacted by your by your tradition. As there well. is always some kind yeah. of. Don't blame that twelve year old then. There's always some. Uh, See what I mean? Don't don't blame the twelve year old. No, when you're grown up like you are okay. impacted, I don't even though you don't believe in God. I don't need religion to tell me that I shouldn't eat or do something. No, but you want religion to tell you how you how to treat you after you're dead. No, I don't. Because I yes. know what's gonna happen to you, me. You you are you are actually you know, you're brought up in a Sikh community. Yeah. So you expect to be treated like a Sikh even though you don't believe in God. Am I right? How, no. Your no. turban says it all. That's a, this, the turban is only as a mark of respect to my mother and father. Nothing else. Okay. Nothing else. Did your, do your mother, are they still around? Are your parents, they're still around? How do they feel <laughs> that you are an atheist? How do they feel? They have no issue with it whatsoever. I'm an adult. We sit there, we discuss the existence of God. Okay. Very what about the rest of your family? Uh, See, my, my dad was from East Africa. Okay. My mother's from. No, no, what I meant is like your siblings. Are no, they no. are they Sikhs or no, no, they're atheists as well? So okay. my, my point is that. By the way, I don't, if you don't want to reveal your private life, no, you don't no, have no, to. No, nothing's not private. No, that's fine, that's fine. My brother. Don't want to impose it on you. My brother, like many other people, yeah. went through a phase of, of uh, deep faith. Um, my sister believes in God, but there's no. There's no real um, practice. She doesn't practice uh, yeah, the yeah, faith. There, well, there, there's no, no problem. There's no, no problem. fundamentalism. I mean, look, I know, I know for a fact there are certain Sikh families and certain Muslim families and certain Hindu families. They would be devastated if any of their of member. Yeah. yeah so that's the reason. That's the reason yeah. I asked no, you because no, when no, you no. said respect for your parents, yeah, yeah. yes. By the way, that shows that you're that, that comes from religion. You know that this, the puggery. Yeah, the pug comes from religion. Yeah. They have the five P's, right? No, case. Sorry, case. Five K. What are they again? The the, the, the hair, the kanga, which I haven't got. Yeah. So the kanga, the, the kacha. Sorry, the kanga is the the comb. Yeah, in the hair. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the kanga. And the, uh, the kala kala is the other K. The kacha. The kacha. The case. The case. What's the case? The, the, the hair. The hair. Okay. Kanga, case. Karpan, the the sword. The sword. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, five case. the five case. Yeah. So yeah, I mean they are part of the religion, isn't it? Yeah. No problem. Anyway, I think we, we we digress. Where were we? So yeah, I was telling you. Look, for everyone, they have certain ideology. You as an atheist have your own ideology. Now, if I were to ask you, you mentioned morals earlier. Yeah. yeah? Where did they come from? You're going to say? No, no, no. I'm going to ask you that. Do do the atheists all agree on the same morals, or is it subjective? I would, I would say, but they're very common. Everyone's morals are very common. No, you no, know, no, it's not common. I think so. No. You don't. You know not to murder, not to steal, 
not to rape, not to pillage, yeah. not to uh, do it. Yeah, these uh, are. Go, go and ask Netanyahu, he'll tell you something differently. Yeah, okay, all right. But you, you get so you see, choice. like I said, there are atheists get... out there who would actually have no problem killing and pillaging a certain I'm, uh, community. We don't have I'm not saying you are. We, we're generalizing. No, no. Bobby, Bobby. We're generalizing. I'm not saying you are. All I'm saying is that where does atheism stand? What is its basis? What is its moral compass based on? You will say it's subjective. Everyone has their own understanding of what is right and wrong. A religion is not subjective, right? A religion? No, no. If it's an organized religion, it has to be based on the scripture. So Islam's are right, where the Christians are wrong, the Jews are wrong, the Sikhs are wrong, no, the you're, Buddhists are wrong. You're, you're comparing apples and oranges. Organized religion, for example, if you were to look at just Islam, yeah. or just Sikhism, yeah. or just Christianity, yeah. within that there are certain do's and don'ts. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. yeah. So, for example, the halal and haram in Islam. Yeah. yeah. If a Muslim disagrees with what is haram in the Quran, yeah. then they are not Muslim because they're rejecting the principles okay. of Islam. Okay. They, they would be upon kufr. Okay. If it's out of ignorance, then they will be given, obviously, okay. Okay. some benefit of doubt. But if they do it deliberately, for example, alcohol is haram in Islam. Yes. Adultery, fornication, all this. I'm not saying there are no Muslims who, who do this. Yeah, of know. course, there are. Every, every religion has their own black sheep, isn't it? So, all I'm saying is that for you as an atheist, yeah. you don't have a moral com compass or a standard on which you base your morals. I think, I, I think that's quite insulting. Though. Why? Do you? Do you have a moral standard which is standard for all atheists? Oh, sorry. You don't. Okay, okay. all right. I thought you were talking. All right, I got yeah. I understand. Like okay. in this country, you know? Okay. In this country. I thought you were talking about me personally. No, no, not you personally. Okay. Don't take things personally. Okay. When I discuss you. Right, okay. For the two years you've seen okay. me discuss, okay. I don't go personal. I go right. based on. The general. Listen, let's just yeah. get back to let's get, just get back to my initial. Yeah, this is about faith. That's why it's called faith. You believe in what you believe. You sh you're no better than me. You shouldn't think you're better than me. Actually, in what sense? If you believe in God, yeah. Either if you're a Muslim, Sikh, Hindu, whatever you are, yeah. don't care. Yeah. You believe in God. That is your belief. Yeah. That doesn't make you, because you're a Muslim, doesn't make you better than a Christian, better than a Jew, or better than... Based on whose standards? On my standards. What is, what is your standard? You don't have a standard. Humanity. Oh, wait, wait, wait. If, but humanity... Wait, let me ask you one question. Excuse me. If I so you asked me a question, let me ask, answer that. Me. If I had come to you and put my hand out yeah. and said, Salaam Alaikum, what would you have done? I would have said, Walaikum Salaam, no problem. Would you have shaken my hand? Yeah, of course. And you would have said, Walaikum Salaam? Yeah, I would. Well, I, I, do you know what? <laughs> I, okay, I appreciate it. I well, what, what, what did you imagine I would say? This, I just want to ask you. Yes. Look, if you talk about humanity, yeah. that again is subjective. Because you see, like I said, there are certain people in this country, even in this world, who don't have a problem. Why do we? Why are you talking about minority? Why can't we just talk in general? I'm talking general. I didn't say you. Why are taking everything personal? No, not personal. I'm talking. But what? I was talking general. I said in this country and in this world. Yeah. You didn't hear what I said. Okay. So I'm talking general, not you personally. No, not personal. I'm yeah. talking about the Christians or Hindus or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, every religion thinks it is exclusive. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a separate religion, would it? Every religion thinks it's exclusive. In fact, every ideology thinks it's exclusive. Even though they use terms like humanity, when it comes to the nitty-gritty, they would bring in the ideology to justify things. Are you, are you offended by atheists? By atheists? Yeah, people, people no, I, atheists. I just think, I actually pity them, to be honest. You pity them? <laughs> like you, Bobby. You because when we them. ask them existential questions about where did the universe come from, they'll be like you, all over the place. You know, Nothing, molecule, organism, you know, you this, that. I, Hashim, that actually, that actually makes me feel quite sad for you. Why? And I'll tell you why. When, when, when I see a Christian or a Muslim yeah. trying to defend their religion, yeah. there'll be people who say, well, the Son of God was born naturally, you have to change his nappies, you have to do this, you have to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Then you that can't bring that to Islam though. No, that's what I've heard <laughs> Islamic people argue. Oh, okay. Oh, no, yeah. oh, wait, wait, wait. If you're talking about someone who claims that a baby is God, and then you're saying we shouldn't question that, Okay. Then the Christians come to you. Wait a minute. They do actually. They do ask us about our faith right. and about our and it's religion. The same, same but you person. know, when we look, trust me, the Christians can't say much about Allah. Right. Because they know that there is not much they can say against Allah. Hashim. So what they do is they go for the Prophet, peace be upon him, yeah. about uh, his uh, uh, about his I've life. Heard, heard exactly, it. yeah. I, I, but I, when it comes to Allah, right. the Sikhs will say that Allah is mentioned in the in the Guru Granth Sahib. Am I right? It is, yeah. Yes. Yeah. The 
the term God in Arabic yeah. is Allah. Okay. Yeah? So no one can actually point fingers to God Almighty. But when we talk about Christianity or any or even Hinduism, yeah. and they actually have gods yeah. who walked upon the earth yeah. and who were like in Hinduism, the yeah. gods were you're, cursed you're belittle, by the mortals. You're going to belittle that now because you're going to say no, no. It's, wait, wait. It's not belittling. Yeah. You know, in this country, we have university courses where they teach comparative religion. Yeah. Are you going to say they are rubbish? You know what they're teaching them? How to critically analyze things. Okay. And you. For you, because you come from that background, maybe you think that just speaking or questioning someone's religion is mockery. That is your background, but that's not my background. For me, it is asking important questions, pertinent questions, in order to understand why you would believe that ideology okay. or religion. Okay. So on is that, that fair? On that basis, Good. when I when I spent that little time listening to Adam Sinclair and him, bring why up, do you keep bringing Adam? Are you a big fan? I am a fan. What, by the way, is he an atheist? What is his religion? Because no, I don't watch those channels. I've heard of them. You should. Yeah. What is his religion? He, he He's an atheist. Now. He's an atheist? No. What was he before? He was a devout, devout Muslim. Did he know how to read the Quran? Sorry? Did he know how to read the Quran? Listen, I'm not here for an argument. Actually, he didn't. He did not, have he to did not know how to read no. the Quran. So because, you know, about because him, yeah? you know, my, my friend, Brother Mansoor, yeah. he actually did a video reaction to one of his... Really? So you know it more was, about him than you're going to admit, right? No, no, no. I, I, you, you asked about his channel. I don't watch his channel. Yeah. I, watched, I watched that particular video which Brother Mansur made as a reaction to him. If you, if you as a man who, who has devout faith, who believes in Islam, mm -hmm. yeah? If, if, if you're, and I'm telling you now, this is factual. I don't get whether you believe it or not. Yeah. There are many Muslims in India yeah. leaving Islam because of these two characters. They and are, there are many Muslims who come to Islam. So yeah. man, many non-Muslims who come to Islam, many atheists who become Muslim. In fact, just now, you know, when you approach, I got the news that two people, I, so I, yeah, yeah fine, two people fine, took Shahada. Fine. And we have Shahadas in this park fine. almost every week. Fine. Wait a minute. So as many Muslims leave, maybe two times more or three times more come to Islam as well. Okay. okay? So look, for us, for us, the Hidayah, the guidance is yeah. from Allah. We don't say, we don't say any of us are the ones guiding them. We say Allah is guiding them. So if they leave Islam, then they actually lose out. It's not Rashid, that they're gaining Rashid, anything. You can make me look stupid, yeah? No, I, I, That's I, not my intention. No, I, it may not be in your yeah. intention. But yes, sister. Your brother's a Sikh. I'm a Sikh, mashallah. Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. He's not a Sikh, by the way, he's an atheist. No, that's what I heard. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But so you're, it might be a cultural thing. To it is, yeah. He said he respects his parents. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. maybe for that, that's fine, that's fine. You know, by the way, respect of parents is quite big in Islam. You know that. It should be. Should okay. Be. Have to be I'll Islam. tell you what. It could be anywhere. You know, from the haram things, from the things which are forbidden in Islam, which one would you disagree with? I'll give you some. Okay, one of them is actually, uh, for example, Alcohol. usury, interest. Yeah. Would you agree or disagree? Interest is haram in Islam. One of the biggest. Uh, yeah, jazakallah khair. Okay. You want some tea? No, my friend. I think Can that's. I get some tea? Sorry. Can I get some tea? Ah, uh, he's gone now. Too late. No. <laughs> oh, no, I have no issue with that. Yeah. I think that's I think so, so, done that. I'll, done. I'll tell you what, a few haram things like fornication, adultery, yeah. uh, gambling, yeah. uh, drinking alcohol, like yeah. you said. Um, all these things are haram. Yeah. Yes, including murder, rape and all, you know, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the usual things. Yeah. Yes, but guess what is the biggest sin in Islam? What the biggest haram is in Islam? Yeah. I'm Not pretty, believing in God. I'm pretty sure. No, no, not only that. Yeah. Yes, but you believing in other gods, even if you believe in that. Jazakallah. Okay. Yes, even if you believed in Almighty God yeah, and yeah, then yeah. you associated other gods okay. with them, so the biggest sin is shirk. Idolatry. Shirk means associating partners okay. with Allah, okay. whether in the form of idols or otherwise. Okay. But that is, so this is one thing you'll never learn from Adam Sikh. Okay. <laughs> but okay. you know what? You can, you people, and I'm going to get personal. You, Shiraj, Mahabadija, Balidawa, all of you lot, mm. yeah? You can make anyone that walks in this park, a normal individual like myself, yeah. anyone, make us look stupid, right? But we don't wait. We don't aim for that. Wait, I think that you 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 succeed in doing that yeah. by bringing up to an atheist. Bo Bobby, with all due respect, sometimes the individual themselves <laughs> make a fool of themselves okay. on camera. Okay. Okay. Do okay. you agree? Agreed. Good. Or maybe I so have. don't blame us for maybe their I, stupidity. But you guys, but my my simple question to you earlier on yeah, what? was, if you want to defend Islam. Yeah. And people like me are going and, and seeing these guys show the Hadith, show the Quran, what's written in the Quran, what the Hadith says, everything else. And you know as well as I do yeah. that there are some 
So um, they can poke holes as much as they want. But you see, and they saw here deeds as well. Doesn't matter. What I'm saying is that if they reject the existence of Allah, all of that. Like, Why don't you go on there? And Bobby, 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 trust me. All of those things which they bring up, trust me, even if they were not there, yeah. even if those hadiths they find false with yeah. were not part of the deen, yeah. even then they reject Allah. You know why? Because in order to believe in the reality... They left Islam because of no, that. No, no, no. Most Islam of the people, of trust me, most of the people, including Adam Seeker, the reason they re leave Islam is because of the ignorance or some emotional reason. We have questioned many people on our streams and even here live that why did you leave Islam? Every time Listen, it is either an emotional the, what reason is the, what is or journey, something they didn't understand. What is the name of that journey that Prophet Muhammad made from? He, uh, the Miraj? Miraj. Yeah. Right. Isra wa Miraj. Miraj. Yeah. So we all know that we won't go through all of that. Then he goes to the first heaven, the second heaven, the third. He goes up to God. He comes down to Moses seven or eight times. Yeah. It is reduced by five prayers each time. Then he comes back. Yeah. That's, and then he makes that journey overnight. Yeah. And then ne next day, people question him about the journey. It's whatever, whatever. My argument is simple. It is a matter of faith. You either believe it or you don't believe it. You cannot tell me it happened. You cannot make a rational argument for it, description of it. It is a matter of faith. I totally agree. You can't, you can't have a rational... You can't explain something which is a miracle rationally. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a miracle. Right. Well, well, that wasn't a miracle, was it? It was a miracle. Why is it a miracle? How many people you know went up in the seven heavens and came back in one night? Right, okay. All right. So, all the other now, there could be many others. Bobby, look, say they were... you know what? If you think that God exists, yeah. yes, and God is able to do things which are beyond our comprehension, yeah. then what is the problem? There's no problem. Exactly. It's My a point. matter of faith. No, 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 no. It's no. a matter of no, faith. No, no. You know what is faith? For you, Bobby, that this existence is a matter matter of faith because you can't explain it and so you, you explain so that bobby bobby you, you in fact no in problem. fact you believe in faith more than me you know why? why because you think all of this just came about yes from nothing yes without any evidence yes so there's faith i know what you mean because you're ready to defend that and he's ready to defend his so you do have faith this got nothing to do with islam we're just talking about religion in general no no it has to do with islam because why? my Every response I gave okay, is right. based on my deen. Right. Okay, well, I okay, and same with you. You give your responses based on your ideology of atheism. But you see, you believe in faith just as much as I do. Because you believe all of this just came about by accident one day. You see what I mean? Without, okay, I was just interested in what I watched. I'm fascinated by what I watched. Alhamdulillah. You know what? Right. And look, my argument, I didn't want to get involved because I know no. I'm going to lose an argument. No, no, it's not, it's not, look, look, trust no, me. My, 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 my intention was never to make you look anything other than... I'm a big as, man, I, I can as, deal with it. No, no, you, I, don't think, I don't think so. That's, even if you were, yeah. even if you had a thick skin as me, yeah, yeah. yes? Yeah. To put someone down just because of their personal reasons. Yeah. Is not. But you see, I have every right to question you, your, your ideology, your faith, without mocking you. I can do that and yes. you... Sh and you shouldn't be afraid to do the I'm same. Not, I'm not, Alicia, I, I haven't had, I, I did come here as some kind of, you know, wonderfully uh, wise person. I wanted yeah. to know why yeah. you guys are not defending against these guys. Right, man. We're here to learn. That's all. That's you, know, what you know what? Islam doesn't need defense. Islam can stand by itself. Okay. Right, what, what need defense is yeah. something that you believe is your ideology and you can't even back it up with rationality, which you expect from us. When I asked you about your existence, you couldn't answer it. But I'm not here to preach any, I'm not here to convert or preach or defend my beliefs. We're discussing. No, but Actually, you are defending your, your ideology. Why? Yes, you are. Why? Because every response you gave is based on your ideology. Yeah, but I, I'm not, not based on Islam, or Sikhism, no, or any other religion. There's a difference between me and you, in that yeah. even though I might not have a sensible answer to your questions. Okay, look, I, don't, uh, I, I think we are repeating ourselves. Yeah, Let me ask you something. Go on. You know one certainty we all agree with? Uh, death. Yes. Yeah. You're going to die one day? Agreed. I'm going to die one Agreed. day. Okay? You believe you're going to go to heaven? No, no, wait, wait, wait. Before, before, don't get jealous of the 72 <laughs> virgins. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, we, got, we might even get more, you know? Do you have uh, to believe that? You get hold on, bro. Of course he believes that. Hold, hold on, hold on. Uh, by the way, the Hindus have apsaras, the Christians have their yeah, own. I'm not okay. I'm just no, no, but we, we'll come to that. The important thing is this. Let's say you you I die and you die, die and there's nothing after that. Yeah. The end. Yeah, yeah. That is the end. Yeah, yeah. No God, no yeah, angels, yeah, yeah. no hell, no heaven, nothing. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Have I as a Muslim lost anything? 
have you lost anything? Uh, no, if, if you've lived a pious life, yeah. you haven't caused anyone any pain, yeah. you haven't hurt anyone, you've been civil, uh, you, you've, done, you've done nothing. No, no, I'm talking about after that. Have I lost anything? No, you have If everything comes to an end, yeah. and let's say all of what I believed in was false. But it, but wait, 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 Bobby, I'm getting somewhere. Yeah. Okay? So I haven't lost anything. Nothing. You haven't lost anything. Nothing. Because whatever life you led, Agreed. yes, based on your whims and desires, Agreed. you were happy with that. Agreed. Neither of us lost anything. Nothing. Now flip the coin. If, if there really is God, well, if, wait, 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 wait yeah. a minute. If there really is God, yeah. there really are angels, yeah. there really is hell and heaven, yeah. there really is consequences for every action of yours and mine Agreed. in the year after, yeah. then who takes the bigger risk? Me. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm calling who to is you. the intelligent person I'm then? To the you. one who prepares for the afterlife oh, or according the one who takes Hashim. a risk? According to you though, yeah. that thing is hell where there's everlasting fire yeah, and whatever else. Now, come on. Do you want me to believe that, yeah? That there's somewhere up there, there's fire that's going to last for millions and millions of years. I'm going to be burning there forever. You know? I'll take that risk. For, for you I'll to believe that the universe came from nothing I'll is a bigger faith I'll based take, religion. I'll take that. Let the, <laughs> no, no, wait, hold on. You're saying now you take that risk. Yeah, I'll take that. But the when risk. you, you know, a person who takes great risk yeah. is not very intelligent. Do you know that? In any system, whether it's whether you are actually going in the stock exchange or you're actually risking your life or your family's life, that person is not really intelligent. So, so wait, wait. A person who prepares and minimizes risk is intelligent. Do you agree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alhamdulillah. So now you know what, why I'm preparing my camera, life for the year look after. Look in that camera yeah. and tell the, the audience, the non-Muslim audience, that you've done all this because you believe that up there, is a place where, is it, correct me if I'm wrong, yeah. but when you die, you have to walk, you have to walk, you have, is it, you have to walk a plank. You know what, where you get just, tell, just tell them, pushed over just tell them there is a hell and yeah. heaven, right. where okay. you're going to get pushed into, and, 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 you're, gonna, and, and you're going to, and by the way, this is not just non-Muslims. No, no, you are believe this. Yeah. Bobby, Bobby, listen, it's not just non-Muslims, even the Muslims have to pay for it, you know. They will have to take account of their actions in this life. So if a Muslim has uh, usurped somebody's right, yeah, let's say they committed adultery yeah. with somebody's wife, yeah. then they will have to pay for it. Okay. Don't think that Muslims will get scot-free okay. just because, because Allah is just with everyone. Hashim. Even even uh, even an animal without horns hurts somebody. Hashim. With horns, they will also be accountable Hashim. on that day. We'll go back to the same thing. Whether I insult you or insult God. It's not about insulting. I'm not just, we, are, we are here I, I, I having, sorry, having a dialogue. I feel sorry for people. Yeah. Right. And, and, and this will come back to the initial first question. How an intellectual person who can, believe, who can have rational thoughts can believe that when he or she dies, mm. in your case, you're going to go up there, there's going to be 72 virgins waiting. Yeah. That's you what you believe. First of all, inshallah, think, maybe more. Is, well, I, I think. But don't be jealous, Bobby. I think that's. I think that's <laughs> terrible for. Why? I think that's. Why? That's By the way, slight on Muslim. Ho hold on. By the way, do you, do you know one thing? Uh, you asked where's the other sick guy. I wanted to answer his question. So the seventy-two virgins. No, no, I'm not going into that. No, no, I will. I have no. By the way, I'm not ashamed of this. You're not ashamed. No, it's not at all. Would you be happy if you have seventy-two girlfriends? No, I think it's wrong. Are you a man or not? Seventy-two girlfriends. Yeah. How many girlfriends would you want? How many can you manage? Well, well yeah. Well, I, I like, <laughs> yeah. Did you yeah. see that look well, in his face? No. I think it's wrong. Come on, Bobby. We all know. This, this we all know. There's women here. We all know. There are, of course, so what? The women will know. They will know. Listen, what? listen. What do they get? What do they get? Hey, oh, hey, shit. calm down. Sorry, sorry. For a person what who said, they? I will get emotional, get you're the one. They get four wait a minute. Wait, oh, wait, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. In the Quran, Allah says, everyone will get what they desire. But men will get Can I finish, please? Everyone will get what they desire. By the way, any hot-blooded man yeah. would say that he's okay, he will actually be happy okay. with many women. Okay. okay? Right. Now, the, the psychology of the women is different, by the way. Do you know that? Do you know that? Right. Why, go, right. why, wait, wait, wait. Right. Why do you not see many, many women having yeah. several different okay. boyfriends at the right. same time? Right. But you will see many men right. having several yeah. girlfriends yeah, at the same yeah, time. Yeah, you yeah, know why? Yeah. Because they are wired differently. Yeah, yeah, men are evil. You should know I, that. I know men are evil. Not about evil. Right. It's about... It's a, look, if you were a man, I wouldn't have to explain this to you. Right. Okay? <laughs> Any, it's, it's, it's something in, in our nature yeah. to desire beauty, yeah. to desire women. Yeah. It's in our nature. But you see, in Islam, first and foremost, living on this earth, 
Allah has told us that if you cannot do justice between them, then marry only one. Guess which religion Hashim which Hashim religion Hashim says to Hashim marry Hashim only one? Hashim only Hashim Islam. That question. Okay, I'm coming to that. I'm coming to that. What do the women get? For, hold on. Before you go to what the women get, yeah. I want to understand from you if those 72 yeah. wives, by the way, wives, do you know sorry, that? Sorry. These okay, are not wives. girlfriends. Okay, wives. These are wives. Wives, wives. If they agree to live with one man, do you have a problem? If they're of their free will? Of course. Of course. By the way, you know, in Islam, marriage by force is forbidden. Okay, yeah, free okay? will not So even the four, four uh, wives in this world, which yeah. we are allowed, yeah, yeah. up to four wives, okay, fine. even that has to be get, by their agreement. I, get to the 72 I am. Right. I've already answered the question. No, you haven't. I have. No, I haven't. said everyone will get what they desire. What do the women get? Hashim? Can I? Did you not hear what I said? No. Everyone will get what they desire. But why does the Quran say 72? Virgins for men, but no reference to women. Because men, you know, look, one thing is that Allah doesn't mention many women by okay. name. Right. Allah has only yeah, mentioned. We'll drop that no, 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 no. I'm not embarrassed. It's, it's embarrassing. I'm giving we'll you the answer. That. If you, we'll drop that. if you, we'll hold on, Bobby, if you have patience, I'll tell you what. There's only one woman mentioned by name in the Quran. You know why? Because this is one that the Christians are claiming is the mother of God. Right. Yes? Right. Allah has only mentioned Maryam by name, yeah. no other woman okay. is mentioned by name. Okay. They're given reference like the Pharaoh's wife and so on, okay. but never by name. Okay. And, and it is because of this modesty yeah. for women, right. Allah doesn't mention this. Right. But Allah does mention a principle which you should have got the hint from. What? Everyone will get what they desire. Everyone in Jannah okay, well, will I'll, get what they desire. Let's hope that women you, get whatever they desire as yeah, well. Yeah, so if they don't desire many men... Because they, in, in, this, in this life, yeah. they've been, they didn't get what they wanted, or their needs haven't been taken care of. No, no, Jannah is a place where you the, get rewarded for the actions. It's not hope, because you didn't get a husband, right. or you did get a husband. It's or not because of that. you had to share your husband with three other women, right? So let's hope they get what they want when they go there. Oh, why, well, earlier you said uh, you wouldn't have a problem with that. I said if their own free will. Of course, but how many you cannot have a marriage why unless it's by their own free will. Why can't a woman marry two men then? Why can't she have two blokes? Okay, if she gets pregnant, yeah. whose child is it? Who cares? Yeah. This, that's, that's, Who cares? She, she does. does. She, well, she'll know one, she doesn't matter. No, she won't know. How will she know? Let's right. say you were living Hashim, you were living a thousand years from this today. This is the problem with religion, what? isn't it? You're going to stand there. You're getting emotional now. Calm down. You are. You're going to defend Islam to the hill. Of course I will. Whatever is wrong with of it. Of course I will. I'm a Muslim. Agreed. Well, you expect me to... Sorry? Actually, he doesn't have a problem with that. No, no, he has a problem with it. Yeah. But, you know, you seem to think you can speak on behalf of... Sorry, but no, 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 it's okay, it's okay. ...and say there's a problem with religion. Madam. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He explained very clearly, right, that when there's an agreement or a contract of marriage yeah. between four women, yeah. maximum... Yeah. And by the way, you look into anthropology, anthropological studies... Yeah. Islam is the first religion that came into practice and said only one unless you can do justice. Not between the whole of let her finish. Yeah. Bobby, let her finish and then you can answer. That is the problem that women didn't get what they want. Okay. okay. So I'm Muslim. I know you are. You I know you are. I know you are. You don't speak to me. No. Right. Now, when you enter into a contract of marriage, yeah. it's by consent. Yes. It's a consensual agreement. Yes. Between one, two, three, or four individuals. Up to four. Years. Now, you take the dirt out of that contract, which you probably have in your mind, right? It's a very civil agreement where you do not share a marital space between more than one wife and one and your husband. Number one. Number two, right? It seems like you're happy with men having consensual relationships as girlfriends, mistresses. In America, in the US, look up polyamory. Look up polyamory. Understand what polyamory means. You can have, a woman can have multiple partners and a man can have multiple partners. Nobody seems to have a problem with that. But when it comes to a contract, an agreement, under a scriptural law under God where the man will be held accountable. The man will be held accountable. Did you cheat on your one wife? Did you have multiple girlfriends and leave them with children? You seem to have no problem with that. Actually, this works in favor of Muslim women, in favor of all women, that the man cannot go behind our backs and cheat 
he cannot have multiple girlfriends. Islam is a religion of contract of marriage. And if any Muslim man goes outside of that, he is not, if he's not held accountable here, he will be held accountable under the law of God. Simple. So don't say we don't get anything. And you want to know what we get in, in the afterlife? We get whatever the eyes have never seen that we've never heard of and whatever we desire Absolutely. right so what we desire as women it's our private affair that's why when he's mentioning modesty it remains as that it's none of your business but when it comes to you mentioning these seven leads in jannah right it's very clear that the men here the muslim men are we need to emphasize their wives yes, because exactly. many people think it's just women exactly. for sex the Muslim men in this life are under submission to the will of God okay so when they say no to the mistress I'm not gonna have a mistress I'm gonna stay faithful to my wife I'm gonna respect my mother I'm gonna respect my daughter right I'm gonna respect my mother my daughter my wife I'm going to say no to the mistress I'm gonna say no to multiple girlfriends and even where I will not leave them with illegitimate children that they have to work three jobs three jobs single I've moms seen yeah. women yeah. work three jobs are you gonna take care of them no you're not so don't tell me Muslim men women don't get anything in this life Islam gives us our men give us well I'm glad for you so, no. I'm, I'm sorry I offended so, you no. I wasn't oh no 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 she's she's responding to your your allegations you have to be very very listen you have to be very very open to understanding let's hope all these women think like understanding you understanding something and they're all the happy surface. and that belief no no listen not everyone's happy look oh, okay. hold on if you want to talk about happiness how many men or how many women are you going to say are all happy in relationships I don't know, which I don't, fail? I don't know and I don't care, but relationships that's a, that's a, can fail. Of course they can fail. Yes. Of course. But that doesn't mean it comes down to the religion. Okay? Yeah. Yes. It comes down. No, it doesn't no come I agree that, that. Yes. That, yes. So that, yeah. if you want to speak about, if you want to criticize religion, let's come down to what it represents maybe, and how it benefits. Maybe I've just wasted benefit. Mr. Hashim's two hours. No, you haven't actually. By, by, we, by, no, no, just like her sister. By the way, Brother Sadat will be very proud, mashallah. You know, if you, Bobby, look, it seemed like the way you mentioned 72 virgins, it seemed like you were, I don't know, maybe you were offended by it. Uh, yeah, I found it a hard concept. So you, because you, you, I believe you women think you were like this champion believe, of the women? No. When, the, when no, you no, ask no, the women no, themselves, no, no, they have no qualms like the way you do. I think, I think. Yours is based is on emotions, problem. not this rationality. Is the, this is the problem with religion, and maybe I've just waited a day of my life as well. But, I, <laughs> but whatever anyone says, whether it's against Christianity, Sikhism, Islam, doesn't matter. Yeah, You're never ever going to get a rational answer from anyone they won't say, well, actually. So after, you know what? after all that, you're going to say it's not rational. In fact, when no, we ask you a no, simple question, you no, couldn't give a rational no, answer no, 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 to no. your very existence. No. So, all right. Then, okay. okay. Why haven't you got? Why? Why do Muslims always have the mustache um, or <laughs> shaved thing? <laughs> no, I'm asking a question. Ask wait, wait, Bobby. With all due respect. No. With all due respect. Yeah. Look. Because you know, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Right? Wait a minute. Now, now, anyone told you that you have a mustache because of Satan is there? It's probably fooled you and you took hook line and singer without you even investigating it at least do some fact finding before you embarrass I yourself will. in front of I the will. camera i will please do I that i wasn't here to in, in, insult anyone it wasn't I actually i said repeatedly you're the one insulting I yourself just, just when hoping, you speak like this without I knowledge just hoping some people would just keep, be honest and to be you know i think the sister was quite honest yeah. what the response i, she, I gave you was she, she got the bit. response i gave you was pretty straightforward without without resorting to emotions do you think all muslim women think like that if they're educated yeah sorry if they're educated they know that they okay so then no, yes so not because you see look not all of them no no all of them haven't read haven't actually investigated they're happy with their life you're the one saying having 72 virgins is something which is wrong am i right you're the one uh, having the problem not us well I, okay we could yeah well, yeah let's earlier talk. you said that everyone should respect everyone all of a I sudden you are should. the one no, looking for should. holes in islam no i'm not looking for i'm just saying everyone should be a bit more accommodating yeah so you shouldn't you, say you know, earlier you know when you came initially i thought you were a fanboy of adam seeker i am a fanboy yeah does he mock religions 
Does he mock religion? Yes. I think. He, I think. Look in front of the camera, I, I and, and and I want you to condemn him for that. I think he does. Are, there a Are you going to condemn him for I that? I got condemn him in the manner. In the manner. So you're not a fanboy anymore. No, I, no. <laughs> I can condemn you as well. That time. Yeah. If you were my fanboy, you can, but you're not. Thankfully. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. All okay. Right. Right. So anyone who says that I'm a, this is my idol, He's and this is, this is, idol. well, if you're a fanboy, you're, a, well, you consider him as your idol. Maybe you should go and look at the term fan. Go and look at it in dictionary. What it means? It means you're fanatically before mad go, about him. Before I go, <laughs> or her. Before I go, just I did say to you, why don't people like you go and defend that? Then? Well, come on our stream. Bring him. Let's see if he got the guts to come on Dawa okay. Wise and speak to us face to face. Okay. 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 Because you, because he will. Even if I ask him a simple question as why you left team, he'll give me something which is an emotional reasoning, not rational reasoning. Okay. Right. okay? Well, anyway, Bobby, thank, thank you very much. much. I, I appreciate I it. You, I apologize. Yes, and likewise. No, no, no. It I wasn't my intention. It. I don't take any okay? But anyway, I know you're stuck with atheism. Like I had an open mind to read other religions, even though I'm a Muslim. I expect you. Did you read them after you became a Muslim? Or you I, no, no, I was born a Muslim. Alhamdulillah. Okay. You know. So you read them whilst you were Muslim. When I grew up. Yeah, that's fine. When you know, when you yeah. have the capacity I've, and intellect to, to understand. In English. I'm Inshallah, that's what I'm hoping. Just be an open-minded yeah, person. Am, that's I all. Am. Okay, Bobby G. Take care. Sasir Khan. Okay. Thank you very much, everyone. Jazakallah khair. Don't forget to subscribe to Dawahwise and watch our live streams on Thursday at 5 p.m. We do lots of live streams, inshallah. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.